Now, if you see, the particular student has attended the exam. Now he got scored in that exam and he got passed in the exam. All right. Now, based on his marks, I want to provide the grade based on the marks. How can I set the grades over here? Now, again, in this case, as we have seen, I'm going to use if, else, if conditional actions. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to drag and drop if into the this mars conditional action right now if you see over here based on the marks that what i am going to do i'm going to uh, you know giving some grades right so that what i'm going to do if you see over here there the first open that what i'm going to do i'm going to select the marks if it is greater than 800 if the marks is greater than 800 then what is the grade i will give it as a grade all right now, if you see over here, in this if, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set one more variable. So, for the same grade, what is the value that I'm going to assign it as? Value as A grade. All right. Now, in the same way, I'm going to use else if. If it is greater than 800, then we are going to display grade A. Else if, if the marks is greater than 650 greater than 650 then i'm going to set the variable as grade b all right i'm going to use one more lc4 here to give the grade as c let me drag and drop i'm going to use the same kind of thing as marks and then if it is greater than or greater than only that i'm going to use it if it is greater than 500 marks then i will give the grade as C. And finally, if the student is scored greater than 330 and less than 500 marks, then I'm going to use else conditional action over here as a default grade as D. Let me drag and drop this else onto the workspace. Now I'm going to give set variable for the grade as D. I'm going to set grade as D over here. Okay, all right. Let me click on save. Now if you see over here, I have given different grades, but I have not given any kind of display message over here so that we will check it out over here itself in the flow variables, the output. All right. Now, if you see, I have given marks as 500. Let me go and let me run the flow. If you see the flow execution has been started and the flow has been successfully completed. Now, if you see, so based on the marks, he exactly got 500 so that we are in the grade D. So you can see. I have given the marks as greater than 500, then we will get a grade C. All right. Until now, we have worked with if, if else, if else if conditional actions. Now, we are going to work with switch case based on the grades. You may ask, what is the difference for the, you know, if, else if on the switch case? Over here, if you observe, I'm going through each and every statement. I'm going to check it out if the particular condition is satisfied or not, right? Now, then only it is going ahead further and then it is going to be completing the flow. But whereas in the switch case, what will happen if the particular condition has met, then it will break the execution and then it will go to the end. That is the advantage over here for the switch case. So that what will happen in the switch case, we are going to use when we have the multiple options and we need to do perform particular task for each and every option. All right. Now what we are going to do, I have got the grade. Based on the grades, I want to display as congratulations, you got the grade. All right. Let me drag and drop switch conditional action onto the workspace. Now if you see, it will ask value to check. What, what value we need to check? We have given the grades over here, right? I need to check that grade, right? So that I'm going to select the function over here or selecting the flow variable over here as grade. And then let me click on save. Now, based on the grade, I'm going to use the case. Let me drag and drop this case onto the workspace into this after this switch case. All right, let me drag and drop this case over here. And now, if you see over here, the parameters operator equal to. There is also a lot of parameters based on the expression that we can use it like, you know, based on the values that you can use different operators. Right now, I'm going to use only equal to. If the value to compare is equal to A, 
then what I'm going to do, I'm going to display a message. Congratulations. In the same way, what is the message I need to display? Congratulations, you got particular grade. What is the grade? Now let's assume I'm going to select over here as grade flow variable and then let me click on save. In the same way, I'm going to use the grades for B, C and B, C also. Let me select the same. Let me copy that. I have made the required changes for the grades also. If you see over here, case A displaying as congratulations, you got grade A and case B, I'm going to use displaying a message, congratulations, you got grade B and uh, case C, I'm going to use congratulations, you got grade C. All right, but there is one more thing also for the grade D, that is the default grade that what we have. In that case, we'll use default case as part of the conditional action. If you see over here, I'm having default case. Let me drag and drop this default case after the case. Now in this default case, what does this mean? If the above cases are not satisfied, then default case will be satisfied. In this default case, I'm just going to display message as congratulations, you are just passed. Pass the exam. All right, let me click on save. Now our flow is ready. Now we are, if you observe, I have used if conditional action, else conditional action, else if conditional action and switch. And after that we have seen case and after that we have used default conditional actions as part of this tutorial. All right, now I will make a small change over here in the marks. I'm going to give the marks as 815. 859. These are the marks which I have pursued as part of my 12th. All right. Now let me go ahead. Let me click on save. All right. Let's run the flow. The flow execution started. And then based on the marks, we got it. You know, the marks we have given it is 859. So that we got, uh, you know, the display message. Congratulations. You got grade A. All right. Let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to use if else, else if, switch, case, and default case conditional actions as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.